Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to another food vlog. Hope you guys are good. In today's vlog, I'll be doing a food vlog where I'll be doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So hope you guys are gonna enjoy watching. For breakfast, I'll be eating with banger sausage, the bacon, and fried baby tomatoes, the omelette. So for our baby tomatoes, we're going to get the restaurant way where we're going to be slicing our baby tomatoes into half. For the baby tomato steps, you can use your normal tomato and then we slice it into thinner slices. But more, we're just going for an aesthetic look at the restaurant vibes. So then we're going to add sugar, preferably brown sugar. For that, it's anyana, you know. Then you're gonna let it fry for like a young two minutes until you're not over and over. Okay, this is how you prefer the matizao. And this is how it's looking so far. The banger sausages were taking its own time, so I guess I'm a bit patient with that step. Meanwhile, we'll start plating our tomatoes and bacon. Here we're gonna be testing our presentation skills. In the meanwhile, I'm going to make the banger sausage so I'm going to make the omelette. So for the omelette, we just kept it simple where I used two eggs, milk and aromat. But if we're not going to the aromat, we can add the salt. And also add my cheddar cheese, diced up red peppers, liberty onion just to make it bougie. But here we're just going to keep it very simple. Then you're just going to whisk everything all together. Then after the whisk, I'm gonna add some seasoning. You're just gonna add a little bit of oil to your pan, and then add your eggs, the whole mixture, my bob, and then you're just gonna simmer for a few minutes so that the top part, yeah, be hangyan. I don't know, guys, how it is, so I can cook a little bit, and then we're just gonna try flip it until okay, the base is liftable. I don't know, you see this is so thin, way or but you're just gonna. Shakansa, shakansa, and then I usually half the omelet so that it serves two people instead. Then I say, so we start plating. Like I said, we're testing our presentation skills, and this is how the final plating looks like. I don't know what happened to the banger, but yeah, it looks normal to me a bit. But hope you guys did enjoy the first version of breakfast. Welcome to part two of our lunch series, where we'll be making a chicken mayo sandwich using chicken breast. So this step is just going to be very simple. We just need our chicken breast, our red pepper, and our red onion. And then your spices, gitlosebidisa, raja, kalik, and salt. So we're not here to waste any time in the kitchen. You chop, chop, chop everything up. And this is how it's going to look after utropile everything. Your red pepper, red onion, and your chicken breast. Here we start adding our raja to the pan. You know I like frying my spices. Then on top of your spices, you add a garlic and then you're going to fry all together and add your chicken first. Then you fry your chicken I think for like a young 5 minutes or 6. And then in the very same pan, we're going to add our red pepper and red onion because the flavor is still left in the pan, hence you just add on top. Then our feta, you're going to put it to the side, mix everything up. Then you're just gonna add two spoons of mayonnaise and your island salad dressing. Mix, mix, mix all together. And then we're gonna take this whole mixture and place it onto our bread. Then I just added parmesan cheese, but you can add bumachera cheese or mozzarella cheese if you don't have any And then we're just gonna close the bread up together after this. Then you just add butter to the outside of the bread and then put it in your presser for like a few minutes. And then you're just going to serve with tea, coffee or my drink. Yan. So hope you guys enjoyed this lunch edition. Welcome to the dinner edition of this vlog. For dinner, we have beef brisket with sweet corn and green salad and also creamy spinach. So we're going to start off by doing our creamy spinach where we're going to be using normal butter. I'm gonna add in our garlic to the butter and some chopped up onions and mix, mix, mix all together. So we're just gonna fry our onions till they are brown. Then we add salt and a teaspoon of flour and your normal milk if I want cream. 
before you add in your spinach is just show sure the sauce is a bit thick and then we're just gonna add the spinach and cover for like a young five minutes so that it cooks up since the spinach is raw gonna uncover the spinach and mix while the lid is open and then let it simmer for two minutes then we jump to our meat so for the meat i just added these sauces your soy sauce with the sauce barbecue sauce and then you can add with my spicing and i get so i don't six gun so i'll make an exception for six gun this round and then you're just gonna spice it up marinade marinade before you add it into your pan So this barbecue sauce in an over ever shy I say when I camera but once we're done um, putting all our sauces and spices and mixing up together we're gonna add it to our pan we're just gonna add our meat to the pan and then obviously it's champa champa and the oil so just be careful of that part and we're gonna keep frying and then a little flip more till it becomes brown So as you guys can see, the meat is all brown, ready to be served. So okay, it's like a plating while we finish up the remaining ingredients of our dinner. Mona Ritlovare prepare our sweet corn for our salad. So I just added boiling water and the sweet corn with a little bit of butter. And you can like boil for like six minutes on high heat. Then once you've boiled it in everything and it has cooled off because I think you're just gonna cut your corn the way it's on thing. And this is how it's going to look in the end and then we're going to be preparing our green salad so for the salad we used um, pre-packed lettuce corn red pepper and feta cheese and baby tomatoes So if you are to your lettuce, you're just going to chop it up with your hands and then you're just going to let it dry up on a paper towel, cut your baby tomatoes into half and then we're just going for an aesthetic look. So most salad thing you guys can learn, not a lot of people love salad, so you guys can just learn for when you guys have functions that require you guys to make salad. So it's like chevy love can say young because I think it's self-explanatory. Welcome to the last part of our vlog. This is the dessert section where I just used one muffin. You can use your chocolate, vanilla, any other muffin you guys have, or you can just use sponge cake. I'm just gonna slice the muffin into slices the way it gets uncutting. Let's make love. 
then this is how it's going to look also a la plating and then you're obviously going to add your custard and this is how it's going to look in the end i hope you guys did enjoy this food vlog please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't